नेक्स्ट विल स्टडी अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन ओके जनरली न्यूमेरिकल केम फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन कंसेप्ट वट इज द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ वोल्टेज दैट इज वी इज इक्वल टू वी मैक्स ऑफ साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव ओके हाउ वी गॉट द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन एज यू नो दैट दिस इज अ साइनसोइडल ए सी वोल्टेज साइनसोइडल मीन्स यू हैव स्टडेड लाइक साइन वेब फॉर्म राइट सपोज दिस इज द वी हेयर एंड मैक्सिमम इट गोज अप टू हाउ मच दैट इज वी मैक्सिमम राइट एट इट वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो एंड चेंजेस इट साइकिल टू वन एटी डिग्री एंड कंप्लीट इट साइकिल टू थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी डिग्री राइट एंड इट गोज मैक्सिमम अप टू नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड इट गोज मैक्सिमम इन द नेगेटिव साइड एट टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी डिग्री ओके सो बेसिकली विल डिनोट एक्स एक्सिस बाय ओमेगा टी क्लियर एंड फाइ इज द एंगल जस्ट एज आई जस्ट टोल्ड यू फाइ इज द एंगल बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करंट ओके फाइ इज द एंगल बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करंट सिमिलरली वी कैन गेट द करंट इक्वेशन ऑल्सो दैट इज आई इज इक्वल टू आई मैक्स साइन ऑफ ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव क्लियर now i am asking you one question that voltage that comes in our house is how much how much our fan bulb tv consumes voltage can you tell me at every home in india the voltage consumption is around 220 volt correct if you don't know about it you can see any of your charger maybe your phone charger or maybe your laptop charger all the ratings are me mentioned on that okay so voltage that is consumed by the charger is 220 volt basically it is decreasing because charger no don't need such a mind high amount of voltage so it is further converting from the ac to dc that's a different concept basically i just want to say that from this socket we'll get 220 volt okay now tell me is this a maximum voltage or no like there are two types of voltage one is the rms voltage okay one is the maximum voltage rms you have studied in the 12th class also rms means root mean square okay what is exactly the root mean square suppose we are having again the sinusoidal voltage at every point we are measuring the voltage at every instant of time like at this instant of time that would be v1 then v2 then v3 and up to so on it goes up to vn okay so root mean square means that is root of mean of square like v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square plus up to so on vn square divided by n so now i am just asking that you got a 220 voltage at your house right is this the rms voltage vrms or is this the maximum voltage according to you maximum voltage that comes in your house maybe sometime it goes up to 240 okay that was the maximum voltage you can see that's in that's in the rms all the values of voltages are included right now tell me 220 volt is the rms voltage or maximum voltage yeah now it's a the rms voltage so because it includes all the voltage right so for every calculation we'll always use rms voltage we don't use maximum voltage maximum voltage is one time maximum goes okay like in your house there sometime one time your voltage come 240 now i am asking you that how much voltage come in your house you don't tell me na 240 that the maximum voltage right you tell me the normal voltage which generally comes common voltage so there is a relationship between rms voltage and maximum voltage that is v rms is equal to v max divided by root 2 okay so this is the formula that you need to remember similarly we can have it for current also that is i rms is equal to i max by root 2 okay clear 
so generally student got confused that why uh, uh, why it is divided by root 2 by rms or maximum see whichever the term is maximum you have to divide it by that term like vrms is equal to vmax by root 2 this comes from the derivation okay that derivation you will study in the rectifier now you don't need to study the derivation you have to learn direct formula that there is a relationship between rms and maximum that rms is equal to maximum divided by root 2 clear okay now suppose the question they have given that is v is equal to 230 root 2 sin of 3140 plus 90 degree okay and current they have given 2.3 root 2 sin of 3140 plus uh, let us suppose 40 degree okay and we have to tell the, identify the elements identify the elements means which element is used like it can be rl it can be rc it can be rlc it can be l or c individual now see how can we find out first of all for cal yeah first of all for this we have to tell that what is the value for v rms i told you that what is the standard equation that is v is equal to v max sine of omega t plus phi right so if we'll compare the standard equation with this equation tell me what is the value of v maximum v max is 230 root 2 this one right if we'll compare this equation with this equation what will get the value for v max v max is 230 root 2 now tell me the omega value what is the value for the omega omega is 314 correct now tell me the value for phi Ninety degree. Okay. Similarly, tell me the value for I max. Correct. Again, the omega value is same. Now for the current, phi value is how much? Phi value is forty degree. That is for the current. Okay. Clear. So, if they ask you to calculate the frequency, can you calculate frequency? What is the formula for omega? What is omega? Omega is basically the angular frequency. So, we know the value of omega. From here, can we calculate frequency? So, that would be 50 hertz. Okay. Now, from this, can we get the VRMS value? v max is how much that is 230 root 2 because for calculation we need which value rms value na so v rms is how much 230 root 2 divided by root 2 root 2 root 2 cancels out so that would be 230 volt similarly tell me the value for irms See, I max is this one. I RMS would be I RMS would be 2.3 ampere. Okay, so from here, can we calculate Z value? Z formula is what? According to Ohm's law, Z impedance. one of the formula is z is equal to root of r square plus xl minus xc square right but we don't know this value now so we don't use this formula we are having one another formula also that is v equal to iz right vrms we know irms we know so z value how much we got 100 correct any doubt similarly we can draw the phasor diagram also and get the value of phi 
as you can see that phi is 90 degree for the voltage phi is 40 degree for the current so 90 degree here and 40 degree is like here right 40 degree this is 90 degree this is for the voltage and this is for the current now tell me what is leading voltage is leading or current is leading voltage is leading so voltage is leading means current is current lags in which case in inductor or capacitor yes in inductor okay so this may be the combination of r and l okay now how much is the angle difference between voltage and current that is 50 degree 90 minus 40 degree correct so this is the combination of r and l now we got z angle phi z angle phi is how much phi is how much that we got as 50 degree okay now we need to calculate cos phi also i told you now that what they have asked in the question identify the circuit elements means we have to calculate r and l value okay now you know the formula for the power factor tell me the formula for the power factor r by z okay phi we know 50 degree right z we know 100 right so from here can we get the value of r we can calculate the r correct now we are having one more formula that is z is equal to root of r square plus xl square right now we got to know about that this is the combination of r and l right z value we already know that is 100 r value we have calculated from here right by putting the this value can we get the xl value after getting the xl value by putting in the formula 2 pi fl can we get the l value so this is how we can identify the elements okay